Hello everybody, this is Corona and I welcome you back in the Aura Tech. So in this video series, we are here we are going to use uh, 8051 microcontroller and we are going to develop a program in the software Kill Me Version 5. So to uh, the link to download this software I have given in the description below. So you can get it from there. You will uh, get a small uh, form. So you have to fill your name and your address, city, these things. And you will get the software in free of cost. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's uh, uh, let me tell you how to use this. So you have to make a new Mu Vision project. And you have to fix a directory over here. So I have fixed a directory that I am going to use kill5. I am going to use all the software uh, save over here. and. Here I am going to make a program for the LED. So I have made this new folder LED and I am going to save all the programs in this LED folder. So what's going to happen when you will write the program and you will develop the program. There are some files will get generated and those files will automatically get saved in this LED folder. So I am going to give it, so you can give any name and you don't have to give the extension also. So suppose I am giving a name for the LED blank. So let's save this and here we are going to use the microcontroller of the Atmel company and the model number of that microcontroller is 889S52. So this is what we I'm going to use. You can use the different one until it will be available to you. So here you can say no to this and here is your LED blink project is built. Now you have to make a editor. So this is your editor where you're gonna uh, write your code. So first of all, let's save this editor. So I'm going to save this editor in that folder only. So I'm going to save it with LED blank. Now you here you have to give the extension dot c. So you can see the dot c extension is here. So here you have to you can see this positive mark. So open this and there is source group so double click on the source group and add that led blink dot c and close so this is how you have to do for this software to run this software so i'm going to tell you about uh, this thing over here that uh, if you have gone through with our uh, uh, logic development series and uh, the c program then you have seen this but See this header has include, but we used to write over there stdo dot h, but here we are going to write reg fifty one or fifty two dot h. So this is the header file which we use or in the kill mu vision five. So it tells the compiler that what are the commands. So some of the commands are different than the dev c plus plus. That's that is why we use the different header file over here. Now. The rest thing is same. We are going to use the C program only. So, so that's why I'm going to make a function over here. That is the function for the delay. Now, why we need to make this function? I'm going to tell you that. So, in this delay function, sorry, I have mistaken the over here. Okay. So, in this delay over function, I'm making an actual parameter. You can give any name to that actual parameter. I have given the DLY. So I've made this uh, function. So in this uh, real time system, when you you are dealing with the real time system, the time matters. So you need to give the time between two uh, executions, between two commands. That's why we use the delay function over here. So I'm going to explain you this delay function. So. We're gonna use this delay function in every program because every every in this video series every program is uh, in the real time system. That's why. So here I'm going to make uh, two variables. I have declared two variables. I'm going to make two nested loops over here. So So 
so this is the first loop and then the second loop I'm going to make inside of this and here I'm gonna end this program by giving a semicolon and here I'm going to give the J J and here I can give any value suppose I'm giving the 500 J. Now what's gonna happen? I'm gonna pass a value for the DLY and that value will come here and change with this DLY variable. So it will call that much time this loop. Suppose I'm passing the 50, then it will call the 50 times this loop. So it will give some time. So it will count this and it will give some time to the executions. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, you will get to know about this. So the main thing is here is a main function. You always need the main function. Uh, so in main function, you need to give a while loop because I've told you this is also called as the infinity loop. So if you are doing the while one, so it's gonna run again and again. Otherwise, what happened? Your LED will glow for one second once only, and then it will get off. Now you can. Uh, Give this p1 is equals to 0 cos 0 f that means i've uh, given the link for the led in the description so you can get, get to know what this command is for so now here i'm going to call that delay function and i'm going to pass the value 100 so what's gonna happen it's gonna call this loop 100 times and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this F0 what is gonna happen it will execute this command it will give the hundred time delay and then it will execute this command and it will give the hundred time delay and it will see that it is the infinity loop it's gonna do this again and again and again so this is never gonna end this is an infinity loop i have given the infinity loop to this uh, commands so this is your program and uh, after writing your program you have to go here first you can save this and then you have to build this or rebuild this do anything same only so here you can see you have zero errors zero warnings means your program is correct so this is how you can develop the program and in next video we're gonna see the simulation of this program the how the simulation works for this program and then we'll see the actual hardware run means actual led glowing so you have any doubt about this any question any queries please ask in the comment box below and please like our video subscribe and please share with your friends who wants to learn the embedded thank you